still listening to now. So Wumi was the first that spoke in court, not the Baba Mubad. So um, the magistrate court invited disease wife Abiola Cynthia Omoumi to the witness stand and she swore an oath before the cross examination started. They started by asking her questions about the disease, which is um, Mobad. They asked his name, his age, and every other thing about him since they've been together. So in her description of Mobad, she described Mobad as a cool-headed person who loved everyone around him. She said he asked his brother to get him water when he started to feel feverish after he was injected by the nurse. So I think with this with this summary is because of the way um, the journalists have typed it out, but I'm I'm sure that we are trying to um, understand. Obviously, after Mubad came back from the show, he was feeling feverish and all of that. I hope you are getting it. So in her description, she described him as a cool-headed person who loved everyone around him. She asked his brother to get him water when he started to feel feverish after he was injected by the nurse. He vomited and peed on himself. She said he was moved from his room. He was uh, he started feeling feverish. Uh, he was he vomited and peed himself. She asked, she was moved from his room to the son's room, which is Liam's room, because of the AC, air condition. She said she rushed downstairs to scream for help. When she noticed it wasn't getting better and they could not use his car because the mechanic was working on it. And she got boys to carry him. She said they were still on the way to the hospital. I don't understand. if. If 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 uh, Mubad's car is not working, so whose car? The, okay, maybe the neighbor's car. They said earlier. So uh, mechanic was not working, and she got boys to carry him. She said they were still on the way to the hospital when the driver held his hand and said he was already getting cold, and they they had to get a bike, who took him and his photographer OG to the hospital. The hospital name is Kuramid Hospital. Uh, Orchard and she got on a bike as well and followed them. She said they spent about uh, 15 minutes there, after, there uh, 15 minutes to get there before the doctor told them he had uh, passed on. And she called his cousin, Bolu Adeyemo, aka Darosa, to take him to another hospital. Um, to take him to another hospital. Uh, so they spent about 15 minutes before the doctor told them they had passed on. She called his cousin, Bolu Adeyemo, aka Darosa, to take him to another hospital for confirmation. Speaking about what happened at the show that led to him sustain an injury before his death, she said they got there around 7 p.m and he performed around 9 p.m. After his performance, he got back and said that they had to leave because he was tired, but he could not leave because so many cars were parked behind his car. The bouncer told him to wait till other artists performed, so in the other artists performed to get the opportunity to move out. After waiting for an hour, he became restless and uncomfortable. After some times, he wanted to go downstairs to speak with the bouncer, but she told him no because she knows it will not end well. Mubat called Prime Boy and his brother to speak with the bouncer to allow him out. Prime Boy came back and was angry because Adura disrespected him, which led to an argument between Mubat and Prime Boy. Mobad told Prime Boy not to disrespect him whenever they are outside. The, this resulted in a fight between Prime Boy and Mobad. 
and she rushed out to call his workers to help him and resolve uh, to help her to resolve the fight. She said Prime Boy was seated in the car. Mobad was standing while they were fighting, which led to Mobad sustain a minor injury. This event happened on Sunday, the 10th of September. She said they got home and she helped in massaging the hand with balm. After after he said after he said the nurse will will come the next day to attend to him. She said when he woke up on Monday, he was fine and he took only Panadol. She said he was perfectly fine and even played with all his workers and friends. There are only he only complained of slight pain. The nurse came on Tuesday and she told the DJ that he should have sent her a picture of the hand and she injected him afterwards. The wife said she left to the kitchen and she gave him another injection and she heard him ask the nurse to remove the injection that he was not feeling comfortable again. And then he went to the restroom to pee and he vomited. She called for help and the nurse said there was a drip that was meant to be given to Mubad to stabilize him. The nurse then left with the FJ to buy it. She said they only got, they only got married traditionally. We, I think we know that. She said the corpse was taken back to the house at Orchard. She described the relationship between herself and her father-in-law as very cordial. She said only time they had an issue was when the father-in-law asked for the placenta when a child was born. Mubad disagreed. That was when they started having issues. She said Mubad's father was always bringing different girls to the house, speaking about the issues as regards the Canadian visa. She mentioned that they didn't have any issues. She mentioned they didn't even have any money as at then because he had just recorded a labor and he wanted, he wanted the child to leave the country before he turns one because he was wary of his opponents and how he has been getting threats. She said he was against posting her, her and her child on the internet due to safety reasons. She said he was always thinking and refused to sleep most times and he also refused to eat. And they asked her about Maisie. Uh, Maisie is a 24 year old. They asked about Darusa. Darusa, Darusa is Mobad's cousin. They asked her who is Adura. Adura is his brother. Idris is the photographer. And then February 22nd, 2022, they asked Mumi about the NDLA issue. And then what happened? He said, uh, they asked her who called the nurse. She said, spending call the nurse. And then they asked her, did the nurse administer any injection um, for Mubad? She said, yes. She, admi she administered two injections for the nurse. They asked her, the injection was administered. Where was the injection administered? Umi said it was administered on Mubad's vein. They ask her, when did you meet Mubad? When did you, when did they, when, when did they meet? The first time they met, she said, um, she met Mubad when she was 14 years old. And they ask Mumi, when did Mubad join Malians? And Mubad joined Malians record when in 2018. They asked her, was she there when the injection was being administered to Mubad? She said no, that she was, was 